Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the types of orbits or systems or satellites you can say. So in some times it is called as types of satellites also. Because basically the satellites are also divided based on these orbits only. Okay. So we are in total, we are having four different orbits guys. That is nothing but LEO. So lower or a low earth orbit satellites. And the second is MEO that is a medium earth orbit satellites. And the next is a GEO that is a geostationary earth orbit satellites. And the last is a HEO, the high earth orbit satellites. Okay. We'll be discussing about all of these four guys. So in this lecture, we'll be discussing about, sorry, we'll be discussing about LEO and MEO. In the next lecture, we'll be discussing about GEO and HEO. After that, we'll be comparing all these three and we'll be drawing a table and comparing them all. Okay. Yes. So in this lecture, let us start with the LEO guys. Okay. So from the name only, you can say it is a low earth orbit satellite. Okay, so from the name only you can say, so it is somewhat closer to the earth, right? Yes, somewhat closer you can say. That's true, yes. So LEO satellites are much closer to that because they are low, right? Yes, earth than GEO satellites. Guys, we'll be comparing them. So don't get confused with this terminology for now, okay? Yes, so these are the most closest satellites, guys, in simple words, okay? Ranging from 500 kilometers to 150 double zero kilometers guys i'm really confused with these values guys because in some books it is given 500 kilometers to 1500 in some books it is given 180 kilometers to 2000 kilometers so it is all up to you you can select any one and you can write guys so i'll be using this in my examinations and in my book also right yes so one five sorry 500 kilometers to 1500 kilometers okay above the earth surface okay so these satellites are perfectly observe it sorry it perfect these are perfect for making observations for military purpose and collecting the weather data. So these are closer to earth surface, right? So whatever weather it is in the earth, these can observe it carefully and they can, they can help in forecasting of it, right? Yes. So that is the reason why these are very helpful. Okay. So it takes one hour to complete the rotation around the earth. So basically these will move faster than earth guys. So basically around earth, they can complete one rotation, you can say, or one revolution, you can say, I don't know exactly the differences between them. So I'll be confusing with them. So don't you get, don't you get confused guys. Okay. Yes. So they will be rotating around the earth. Like they will be moving around the earth. Okay. They'll be rotating. Okay. Revolving means among themselves. So rotating means on, on someone is center and you're rotating around him. Okay. Yes. So it will take around one to 1 1.5 hours to Rotate around the earth guys. Okay. So it operates at a frequency of 1 gigahertz to 2.5 gigahertz. Okay. Frequency range. So what are the advantages of these LEOs guys? So LEO satellites cover a small area, hence less, to wa less waste of bandwidth. Okay. So basically we discussed, we, I told you in advantages like only three satellites will be enough, right? But those are GEOs guys, not LEOs. So LEO satellites cover very small area. Okay, as it is close to earth, earth surface, these have a good or less strength of signal is enough and less time delay. So basically these are really close to earth, right? Okay, so it will take some time to send the data and receive the data. So it is a bit fast, right? When compared to others, so if someone is here, some other satellite is here, so the message should go there, it should come back. So it will take more time. So basically the delay is less. And the strength will be good and there will, there will be no errors or any kind of things with this LEOs guys. Okay. Yes. So your, your question will be, okay, so everything is advantage. Are there any disadvantages? Yes, there are some disadvantages. The biggest problem with LEO concept is that you need a lot of satellites to cover the global coverage. So basically assume that you want to communicate with your friend who is far away from you. If you want to communicate with the help of LEOs, they cover a very small area, right? So you need to travel or your message should travel between multiple LEOs and it should be sent. So it is a time taking process and it is a waste of time or waste of money, right? Yes. So that is the disadvantage here and the high number of satellites combined with the fast movement results in high complexities. So basically even sending in between these satellites, how many messages, how many bits you will be sending. So everything is a complex thing, right? So even sending a single message is okay. But if hundreds of members are sending to hundred different people, all those messages should go without any collisions, without any issues. So that is really complex guys. Okay. Yes. 
So now let us move on to MEOs. So these are medium earth orbit. So basically these distance are the next range you can say. Okay. So a MEO satellite is in orbit between 5000 kilometers to 2000, 20,000 kilometers above the earth surface. Okay. It takes around 4 hours to revolve around the earth. So basically LEOs take 1 to 1.5 hours. These take 4 hours to revolve around the earth. Okay. So MEO satellites operate at a frequency of 1.2 to 1.6 gigahertz frequency. So the main application of these MEOs is a GPS guys. So basically in our mobiles we will be using GPS right. Yes. So MEOs are the one which are helping us to know our exact location. Like using Google Maps anywhere we are using. Whenever it is saying location it is using these MEOs. Okay. So if you want me to give you just an overview. So basically three satellites can say your exact location guys. So assume that you are here. So basically this satellite will draw a line guys. In its range. Your location will is in it. Similarly, this also will draw. Similarly, this also will draw. So basically, if I if you draw properly, they will intersect at some point, guys. So that is the exact point where you are. Okay, so in that way it will work. I am not able to draw it clearly. So you got the point, right? Yes. Okay. So continuing advantages. So using orbits around 10,000 kilometers, the system only requires a dozen satellites. So basically with around 12 satellites, you can cover the whole earth surface guys. So that is the major advantage you can say of HEOs. So basically the upgraded version of the farther the LEOs will be getting GEOs, which are the best you can say among all. Okay. Yes. Coverage area is quite more when compared to LEOs. But the major disadvantage is the delay is increased guys. Because for 10,000 kilometers, the message should go and it should come back. So it will take some time, right? Yes. That is the disadvantage here. Okay. So as a distance increased, the more signal energy is needed to transmit. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about these two, right? Yes. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about GEOs and HEOs guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.